And welcome to the brand new uh, channel. Uh, it's called Messy Studio, where I sit back and I talk about gear that I use for my event photography. I'm a personal event photographer. You can learn about me at Scooter Roth. Uh, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing here of the Zoom Lion uh, Flashpoint. Flashpoint is the uh, Godox brand for Adorama. I'm an Adorama affiliate. So we're going to do a quick unboxing. We're going to talk a little bit about this flash. All right. Right, so, uh, we're going to be opening up a Flashpoint Adorama uh, Zoom Lion TTL Flash. It's my second unit. I do have uh, already one here. Uh, you can see here. So the reason why I got a second one is because uh, I have a bigger uh, flashpoint. It's called the Explore 600. And this would trigger that off camera. The problem is, is that I like to do quick mobile shots. Uh, not, not mobile photography, but mobile as in I like to sit back and set up real quick, get a shot, and then pick this guy up. And quickly move somewhere else and get another quick shot uh, especially because time is of the essence as an event photographer uh, and you're doing some quick portraits uh, just a few minutes sometimes before the kid goes into the room or something like that so I like to have a quick setup anyway let's get into the unboxing so uh, the first thing you'll see is the box that it comes with So let's talk a little bit about this Zoom Lion. We're going to put the battery in. So it's master mode. There comes with these little sticky things that are on it. Let's pull these off these new little stickies. All right, it uh, opens up right away into master mode. You'll see it shows a ratio off. There's a battery level indicator. That is one of the things I do like about it. Uh, show the logo here. It spins 360. A little bit tight. Ugh. There's 360 degrees. Uh, so there are different menus here. You'll see the in the top left, there's a little signal there for the lightning bolt. It says ETTL, it shows it's a zoom, uh, 24 millimeters of zoom, uh, and there's also a battery indicator. Uh, it shows whether your flash is firing. Uh, it's just three lines there. It says master, it also says ratio off, and it shows channel one. So let's go into the things below. You'll sit back and see how it shows zoom function. There is a plus minus thing for your exposure. So we go into that, and you can bring it up a few stops. I lost the light. As well, yeah, you can also do flash or bracket exposure where you can have it take a set of three shots, and each one of those three shots will be um, at different ranges. So, if you use flash exposure bracket, and it has that right. So, that's menu one. You click on menu two, uh, you can turn real quick the flash on and off. So, if you have two flashes, which we're going to do. You can really quick turn off your main flash and only have that slave trigger. So I like having that on-off button really quick right there on the menu. Uh, so we're going to put that over on the love side. Uh, you can quickly hit ratio and adjust your ratios. You can go all the way down to ABC. Uh, menu 3 is where you can quickly change your channels. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, you can hit sync for high-speed sync. Hit sync again to go into radio. So there is no curtain sync that I'm seeing here. So there's no real curtain sync. Uh, there should be. That might be in the settings. Uh, so that's the, the basic gist of it. All right. So real quick, as I mentioned, uh, one of the main reasons why I got the flash 
that I wanted to move away from using AA batteries. So uh, I've in the past, I've used the, the Canon 600, uh, 600 EXRTs. And then I've also used the Fodex Metro's flashes. So uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the pros and cons about some of these other flashes and the reason why I want to change. Obviously, the biggest reason why I want to change is that some of these other flashes all use AA batteries, right? They use these AA batteries. They, um, you got to charge them forever. You know, four batteries at a time charging. Uh, and those four batteries won't even last you, will last you maybe uh, several hours, if that. So you always have to have extra AA batteries on you, uh, or you'd have to have an external battery pack that you're carrying with you. So it's just extra gear, and it's just a lot of pain in the ass. So, um, so within these uh, videos, I'm going to sit back and talk about what I love and hate about uh, this Adorama Flashpoint series. So the first thing I love, of course, is the fact that it uses one singular lithium ion battery. Uh, so let's really quick take a look at that. So rather than dealing with a whole bunch of AA batteries, you're just using one battery that you can charge and it lasts quite a bit. So you really only have one, one or two batteries to charge overnight or however you charge your batteries. Keep one or two on, keep two of them on you so that one is in your flash and then you have a backup and you can just easily switch those batteries out. Um, so that lithium ion battery is definitely the huge plus and it's one of the main reasons why I want to move away from these Canon 600s um, or the Fonix Metros ones. Uh, so the second plus that I really like is the fact that the control knob spins easier. So first, let's look at the Canon 600 ERC. You sit back and see this knob here. I can never just lightly touch it to spin it. It's always a little bit of a challenge. Sometimes I have to like dig my nail into it to get it to spin a little bit better. Um, but it's just kind of a little bit of a pain. Whereas in the Zoom Lion one, it just seems to be the lightly touch and just very easily spins. So for uh, quick setting changes, uh, I really like having to not fiddle around too much with that. So the fact that the control knob spins easier on that to me is a very big plus. Uh, the, one, oh, the other aspect that I like is the fact that it does wirelessly trigger radio because I recently was sat back and using, let's say, the Zoom Lion on my camera. And then I would sit back and have the Canon 600 EXT, you know, off camera uh, or I would have my Metros off camera. And in order to get those things to talk, I would always need additional triggers, right? So we, I would use these little Metros uh, Fodex Strato 2 triggers. So I'd have to always put this Zoom Lion on, on top of one of these triggers in order to trigger one of these other cameras, um, or trigger one of these other flashes. So I like the fact that, you know, now I have two matching units. Now, the Adorama uh, Zoom Lion does say that it receives a signal from Canon's uh, 600 ERS to, to trigger and stuff like that. But I can never get it to seem to work consistently. Um, sometimes that's your channel setting or something like that. Um, so being able to just stay on brand and just have it be wirelessly talk consistently uh, is... is extremely important for me. Uh, and the last thing that I also really like about this uh, Zoom Lion is that because it uses a lithium ion battery, it does have a battery level indicator up here in the top. Right now, I'm going to see if you can see it. There's a little battery level there. Um, which you would be surprised, the Canon 600, uh, nowhere in all of the information that's on this screen, none of it tells you how much battery life you have. Uh, so you basically just have to go based on your recycle times, you know, and if your flash tends to be taking a little bit longer to be ready for the next photo, that's how you know that it's time to uh, change your flashes. So not have, so I like having a battery indicator. All right, so let's talk about things that I hate. The, I don't want to use hate, but anyway, things that I haven't really liked about the Zoom uh, Lion Flash. So the first one is that it can get stuck in the hot shoot. Uh, so again, we're going to slide it on top of the camera. I'm just using my little cannon here just to, as an example. So you put it on, you tighten it up, and it's in the hot shoe. And sometimes it's a little bit hard to slide it back out. It can get a little bit stuck, a little bit tricky there sometimes to pull it back out. It doesn't seem to be so. Now, some people like that as a safety thing, but you do already have the lock in place. Um, so that's one, one aspect I don't really like. It can get stuck at times. Uh, the other thing that I, I tend to not like about it is the fact that the battery case uh, tends to be a little bit tricky to open. The problem is, is that the way that the case is designed, you can see here how there's these little knobs. And I almost automatically always want to put my thumb on that bigger part to open it. 
you know, and you're always playing around with it or you're trying to push it in and stuff like that. Uh, but the way to actually quickly open it is that there's a little bit of a lip here. So you want to ignore these parts here and you want to put your thumb under that lip. So you're basically going to come from this angle and just always pop it up, right? But when you're in the field and you're in an event in the dark environment, when you're sitting there sometimes fiddling around with it, you may not you may tend to not really quickly remember exactly how to open that. So it's a little bit of a, a tricky design to get used to, you know, having to, having to open this. So uh, that's one thing I haven't really uh, liked as well. Uh, the other main thing is that it doesn't come with a diffuser. There's no diffuser on the top. Uh, there is a diffuser as far as, you know, you can pull it out. It does have that, you know, that one little plastic one that uh almost all flashes have and it does have a bounce card but as far as a diffuser as far as like for instance the phonics and the cannons ones they come with these little diffuser caps uh and it doesn't do that now i, I use a modifier i use the spin light 360 um as a modifier or the mag mod series so i don't really use a whole lot of these things but it's still nice to have one just as a backup just in case so it doesn't have one of those diffusers. And uh, the last thing that I don't really like is the fact that the battery charger itself, this thing, um, it doesn't just plug directly into a wall. It relies on a cord. So sometimes if you don't have a cord and you just have this with you, your SOL with charging your uh, battery in the field. So it's just one more thing that you have to worry about. So uh, anyway, uh, that's a real quick uh, discussion about this Adorama Flash series. Uh, I'm going to go a little bit more into the setting up of it. So, but anyway, uh, let's just uh, show you real quick. I'm going to turn the two Zoom Lion flashes on. So now that we have both set up, and we are going to sit back. If you see in the corner, there's that lightning bolt here. So we're going to set that lightning bolt. We're going to hit the little icon here over to the little radio signal. So that's your radio. And we're going to set this up to the master. And then we're going to set this other one up to the slave. They're both on channel one. They're both on group A. And you test it and they are both firing. I don't know if you can see that within that. So just to be able to really quick set it up, have it reliable, having them both triggering consistently uh, is extremely important. And having the line batteries keep just going and going and be reliable. So the less that you have to think about your flashes communicating with each other, the better. You know? So uh, anyway, uh, I did mention that it does work with Canon 600, but I can never get to see the taught that communication to be consistent uh but we're gonna play around with it we're gonna go into a longer video uh next week or at some point uh so if you want to hear more about uh you know if you want to do a, go a little bit more into using these uh off-brand things going from flashpoints syncing it up with Canon, uh hit me up in the comments and we can dive a little bit more into that but anyway, that is my one of my Black Friday purchases, which was the Adorama, as I mentioned, the um, an Adorama affiliate. So anyway, uh, that's a little bit of a recap and an unboxing of the Adorama Flashpoint Zoom Lion R2. Uh, Lion is short for lithium ion battery. Uh, the Zoom uh, Flashpoint is a Godox uh, brand flash. So uh, I'm pretty sure it communicates with flash equipment as well. Um, but uh, I don't have that really here to test. So anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, make sure to click subscribe, and we will see you next week.